Mike's Daily Podcast. Episode 1225. That's 1225. That's Christmas. And uh, much longer till Christmas now. Less than a month. Hello, it's Mike Matthews broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcaster Valley, Mountain. Today we hear from Adam Ritabiga, Valentino, Vice, and Bentley. Plus, we bring you two segments. One of them we've never done before. Another one that... Mike's Daily Podcast. We haven't done in a while. Uh, Mike on mobile with Clem. Yes. Mike's Daily Podcast. That racist crazy guy we're going to talk to in just a little bit. Did you know that this world has gone to... A thing that you should know that we're going to talk about something you didn't know. That Katy Perry has this great party plan. Mike's Daily Podcast. It's called Last Friday Night, where she talks about all the things that you should do on a Friday night. Like Mike's Streaking, Daily Menage a Trois Podcast, and Getting Thrown Out of a Bar. Yeah! Features a saxophone solo from Kenny G. That's the Katy Perry song last Friday night. Use it as your roadmap for this weekend. But the weekend is almost over as I talk to you now here on a Sunday. I wanted to jump into a segment we've never done before, and it's called Mike's Tip. Yo, the Mike Tip. Mike, it's Mikey Fikey. Break. Or the mic tip, or something to that effect. And it's a tip I'd like to give to one Kellyanne Conway. Maybe we should call this clip, this segment... Mike Tip Someone, a new one. Kellyanne Conway is a top advisor to Trump. And today, she assailed Mitt Romney, a leading contender for Secretary of State in the Trump cabinet, accusing him of having gone, quote, out of his way to hurt the president-elect during the Republican primaries. Her criticism of Romney on ABC's This Week program came as Mr. Trump is weighing whether to choose Mr. Romney, Rudolph Giuliani, or perhaps another candidate for the State Department post. Look who just walked in. Hello, my grandma. My friend. Oh, your friends? You've you've gone out? You've hung out? Yes, we went to the mall yesterday and went shopping. The prices are so low. Woo. See, whenever I go, <coughs> Ugh. oh my, sorry, Michael Matthew, are you okay? I'm. I think I'm slowly dying. Someone has poisoned the root beer supply here at Cafe Anyway, but whatever. Are you all right? I think so. Continue. Well, I went to the mall. I was about to go to Macy's and buy a, a coat, like a nice sports coat, because the price was so low. And then I'm like, no. My Tomasi, you have tremendous control. Self-control. Yes, I have some self-control. But uh, there was the Never Trump movement, and then there was Governor Mitt Romney, said Kellyanne Conway. On ABC, adding later, I only wish Governor Romney had been as critical of Hillary Clinton during the general election, during the primaries. Mr. Romney called Mr. Trump a fraud and a phony. Ooh. Kellyanne Conway carries a grudge. That's okay, I do too sometimes. Ms. Conway said it was important for Mr. Trump to seek to unify the Republican Party by making gestures to those who opposed his candidacy. But she added, quote, oh, look who else walked in. I don't think the cost of party unity has to be the Secretary of State position. Hello there, Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, we're really mad at Trump for not making Governor Chris Christie Day the Vice President Day. Yeah. We hate Mike Pence. Do you know that? Well, guys... Chris Christie had the Bridgegate thing. Trump didn't want to deal with that. Yeah, but we are so upset. Okay. And then 
We don't know if he voted for Donald Trump, Kellyanne Conway added about Mitt Romney. Her comments came as advisors to Trump inside the transition effort and outside it are feuding over which direction to go and making one of the most critical appointments to the president elect's national security team. Those private differences ah, spilled into public view last week. A dinner guest who attended Mr. Trump's Thanksgiving festivities at the Mar-a-Lago Resort in Florida. By the way, from now on, any of the times that Trump shows up at one of his properties to promote one of his properties, I am not going to give out the name, so you're just going to have to guess. If it's somebody else's property, I'll mention that. Like if it's a uh, Motel 6. But not if it's one of Trump's things, because that's just wrong. He has said that, hey, I'm president. You can't touch this. I still own that property. Yeah, I have, I have my, my kids watching it in a quote-unquote blind trust or whatever. But, hey, I still own it. I'm still making money off it. I'm the president. I'm the president. I'm badass. Mr. Trump... Uh, and his so at the at that resort in Florida said that the president elect had spent some of the dinner soliciting advice about his choices for Secretary of State. A close aide to Mr. Romney said on Sunday that Mr. Romney, the 2012 Republican presidential nominee, had given little indication of his thinking on the matter. Mr. Trump and his aides also continued today to harshly criticize a recount effort being undertaken by Jill Stein, not. Ma- not oh my gosh I can't think of his name Bueller Bueller that's the Ben Stein thank you I'm Ben Stein for clear eyes use dry eyes some kind of eye stuff for your eyes who was the Green Party candidate for president in a series of Twitter posts imagine Ben Stein running for president and he's a Republican that would be interesting In a series of Twitter posts starting early Sunday, Mr. Trump condemned Mrs. Clinton, whose top lawyer for her presidential bid said over the weekend that the campaign would participate in a recount in Wisconsin and potentially in Michigan and Pennsylvania. In an initial message, Mr. Trump wrote that Hillary Clinton conceded the election when she called me just prior to the victory speech and after the results were in. Nothing will change. He then went on to quote a comment by Mrs. Clinton during one of their debates in which she said she was horrified by Mr. Trump's refusal to say that he would accept the outcome of the election. I love Mr. Trump's sense of history and Hillary history. At least he's he's also looking for the hypocrisies that... I have been noting all along about his candidacy. Now he's seeing it in Hillary's. And he noted that in her concession speech, she urged people to respect the vote results. Uh, We have to accept the results and look to the future. Donald Trump is going to be our president, Mr. Trump wrote on Twitter, quoting Mrs. Clinton. We owe him an open mind and the chance to lead. So much time and money will be spent. Same result, sad. He added. Mark Elias... Oh. And here's today's podcast picture. Hold on, Mark Elias. I have to tell you what the podcast picture is today. It's of the wonderful Christmas tree in Monterey. Yesterday, I had the wonderful ice skating rink at the Union Square in San Francisco, and now the wonderful Christmas tree that's right there in Monterey, which I went to with Basil the Boxer on what was that Monday. And it was such a beautiful day. It was so clear. You could see all the way to, like, Santa Cruz. And, oh, such a wonderful day. Oh. I'm just thinking about it right now and having those warm thoughts come back to me. So nice. I was there with Jill Stein and Basil the Boxer. And we were walking along and Ben Stein showed up and said, How are your guys' eyes? Do you have dry eyes? And we said no. And he said, Bueller. And it was wonderful. Mike, I think you're making all this up. Do you know that? Yeah, Mike. This is all fan fantasy day. Michael Marshall, I love fantasy. Ooh. And you went shopping with Kellyanne Conway, huh? It was wonderful. Ooh. 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 You know what else is cool is that OK Go video. I mentioned the last one they put out, which was about a year ago. They did that one in a plane. But I I gave it some... Oh, what's the word? I gave it some 
uh, smack smack talk because there are points in the video you can tell their edits and that they tweaked it and I'm just you just have to go into watching an OK Go video knowing that they've doctored it up a bit but what they're asking you to believe happened in the making of their music videos is is a, a suspension of disbelief the video in question now is for their song called i think it's called the one moment and it's a great song i didn't like the song they did in the plane this one is a good one this could actually get played on the radio so far their songs never get played on the radio they had that one here it goes again that got played and that was the one when they were on their uh what, what are those machines? The walking machines? The uh, treadmills. And, and they're like jumping from one to the other. This one, their videos always have to do with some kind of choreographed, unbelievable, I can't believe they're doing this type thing. And they always top themselves. And this one, you, it, you're, we're asked to believe that the whole video takes place in 4.2 seconds. So it's a series of things that trigger other things like balloons explode that have paint in them. I think they've used that before. I think they used that in the plane one. Uh, but there's like a uh, something that shoots a glass that has the lead singer's image on it, and it smashes. And then all these guitars that are suspended from the ceiling explode. And it all happens in 4.2 seconds. They show that at the beginning. And then the rest of the video, it's slowed down. Yet somehow they're singing. I'm sorry, you in 4.2 seconds, you can't sing anything. You can't move your... It would just look like your mouth is flapping. Like, it, it, it's impossible. So you can tell that, that they had to over that. They had to film over that and make a little special effect and do a little bit of uh, clever editing. But, yeah. I like the song. So, Monterey. Great place. Christmas time. But what was really great was the other place I told you about on the last show which is really close to Monterey, and that's Pacific Grove. Oh, I had so much fun there. Oh, unfortunately, this happened at Pacific Grove at one time. Well, Pacific Grove is formally apologizing for its racist and discriminatory housing practices of the past. Yeah, oops. Oh, oh well. Hopefully they've learned there. But now I'd like to ask you to go to our website, mikesdailypodcast.com. You can see all the past podcast pictures. And yes, I will be keeping a Christmas theme going in all the podcast pictures. That's the plan anyway. And I'm going to have lots of balloons exploding full of paint. Just paint everywhere. Splat. It's going to be great. And there's Kellyanne Conway is going to be on the podcast picture shopping with Madame Rutabaga. Mike, you're dipping into the fantasy world day again. Day. No, it's going to happen. And there's going to be all kinds of... Uh, oh, at mikesdailypodcast.com, if you're going to do any shopping on Amazon, click on that Amazon link and buy whatever it is you're going to buy. That helps us out. There's also a PayPal link. You'll get a special greeting from all the Cafe Anyway characters. And I'm thinking, should I do it? I'll kick this off today. Yes, let's do it today. Yuletide personalized MP3 for the contest. In honor of the Christmas season, let's kick off the Yuletide personalized MP3 for the contest, where you get to tell me why you like this show or hate this show. And if we read your comment on the air, you will get a special personalized MP3 for the from all the Cafe Anyway characters here at Cafe Anyway. All you got to do is email to me, mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. Or go to the website, mikesdailypodcast.com. You can send it through some of, there's all the social media links that I have there at mikesdailypodcast.com and past interviews too. So check it out and good luck to you. We'll announce a winner uh, right after Christmas. Or right before Christmas. I don't know. We'll do it sometime in the next couple of weeks. It'll be awesome. Uh, to wrap up that story... Uh, that uh, I was talking about er- earlier, Mr. Elias, Mark Elias, who we put on hold for the rest of the show, but he served as Mr. Clinton's, uh, Mrs. Clinton's campaign lawyer, wrote in a post on the self-publishing platform Medium. What? I've never heard of Medium. I just remember that being a great show with Jennifer Love Hewitt. Wait, no, she did Ghost Whisperer with Patricia Arquette. Patricia Arquette's show, Medium, was just the same as Ghost Whisperer, only it was a little bit more serious and less cleavage. But 
The publishing platform Medium on Saturday, the campaign officials had found, quote, no actionable evidence of hacking or attempts to tamper with the vote, but he said that the campaign would participate in the recount effort begun by Ms. Stein. We do so fully aware that the number of votes preparing, separating, rather separating Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton in the closest of the states, Michigan, well exceeds the largest margin ever overcome in a recount adding that it was important to have the campaign represented during any legal proceedings related to the election. In other words, he wants his damn paycheck. Okay, let's get on with the segment, uh, Mike on Mobile. Mike on Mobile. Oh, my head. Oh. oh, where am I? Oh, God damn it, I'm in a trailer again with Clem. How's it going, Clem? You've just been clammed. I've been clemmed on the head. I haven't been here in a long time. You put some curtains up. How nice. Now that we have a respectable orange president, life is good again. I, I want to thank you for knocking me out and dragging me here. Uh, uh, how are you feeling now that we've got an orange president? I, I do believe a glass ceiling was broken. We don't have the first woman president. We have the first orange male president. So I think it's a victory for everyone involved. Yay! Let's hear it for Cheetos. But what do you think about all this stuff? I mean, he's going to ruin the country. He 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 doesn't know anything about business. He knows stuff. He knows business, his own business. But what about like the country? And and he he's gonna he already irritates women out there. He came to my town and said he invented the wheel. I believe him. No proof of it. But what 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 do I know? That. Have you ever seen a wheel? That's what the tractor's on, or the trailer you're s- sitting in right now. Ooh, Clem! This is a weird world. I feel like we've entered the world of Clem. I don't know what 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 shall I expect here in Clem world, Clem land. Send all the N woods back to Africa. Send all them wetbacks back to Mexico. There will be no more gay marriage. There will be no more abortions, and everyone will have a manufacturing job in the world. Everyone. Are you a really religious guy, Clem? Only on Sunday between 10 and 12. Okay. It, what do you do for a living? Do you... Uh, I I never even seen... I'm just in this trailer. In my younger years, I dabbled in haberdashery. Uh, but my, my limbs aren't what they used to be, so mostly I just collect Social Security these days. I wrote a song about you. Here, I want to play it for you now. All right, this is Clem's song. Uh, like the people. He's a guy, he's got a trailer, and some people think that he's a failure. He's Clem, talking about Clem. His mullet's really big, and people like to trip on it. He has this... Shut up! All his other vocals came out. Talking about Clem. Uh, he may be stupid, but he. That was my song. Did you like it? It was amazing. Uh, I think it sets the table for. I don't want to say I'm a prophet, although I am a prophet. I don't want to. I don't want to say it. But it's true. I think you'll recall me predicting a Chris Christie, Sarah Palin ticket. Yeah. 2016. That's now going to be 2020. Tell me I'm wrong. We have an orange president. Wait, wait, wait a minute. That means then that orange president would only be president for one term. Orange president will be impeached. Oh. Is my theory. Yeah. So we agree on something. Why do you think he's going to be impeached? All them damn elite liberals living in them coasts. They'll think of something. Mm. You know, the what do you think of Nancy Pelosi? She's from the left coast. They're going to replace her with some N-word Muslim. Uh, did you hear about that? you see this guy? No. Yeah, some N-word Muslim. And by N-word, you mean n- nice. There's another word for it. <laughs> A nice person. Well, uh, Clem, I'm just, I'm all confused. I mean, I thought Hillary was going to be our president and the whole land would be wearing pantsuits 
and we would sit out here on the porch on your trailer and and see a whole new world come by you know basically people from Obama's cabinet moving into the White House I mean staying in the White House they wouldn't be moving in they'd be but it's different now Clem it's Chris Christie uh, actually he got fired by uh, Trump by Mike Pence that's correct why why does he hate Chris Christie so much I mean you're spiteful and ignorant and oh, severely obese. The man had his stomach stapled and gained weight. What is happening inside of that person? He's expanding. Wow, the ever-expanding man. Do you think that Bridgegate was something invented by the liberal left people, the liberal elite? I think they drum it up. He's not smart enough to think of anything. Well, Clem, what should I do to help prepare me for Trump? being president in january we white we good we all good but am i white i guess i am white kind of i my head is white it's kind of shiny does it blind you clem it's beautiful it's like seeing the the dew on a fresh cut lawn after first rain clem i don't know i've I've, i'm scared i want to move to canada should I go there? We had slavery in this country for quite a long time, right? We were not slaves ourselves, but the country survived through that. The country will survive another bigoted, xenophobic, misogynist who should shave his head because he looks like an idiot. My friend Kathy said she's going to clean out her attic and hide all her gay friends up there. What do you say to her? I had a, I have a co-worker who... Uh, is a lesbian and she wait uh, what yeah she has a child and she has to go through this process in california to adopt her own child it's going to cost about ten thousand dollars in case uh president trump invalidates her legal marriage to her wife oh my this gosh is something happening now it is real and that's this is the consequence at your job being a haberdasher everyone needs a haberdasher Wow, that's crazy. Clem, any other views you'd like to spout today? And by the way, do you have a key for these chains? I'd really like to get out of your trailer at some point. I told you, give me a good song and dance. Uh, the Clem, talking about Clem. I said a good song and dance. Anyway, any other thoughts on your mind? I have been thinking, if you combine a ruffle, you know the potato chips, uh-huh. with a pickle... Uh-huh. This, it's early stages now, but just think it over. Ruffle, pickle, potato chips. That's right. That's not how bad. Talking about clam. That's a, a great idea. Wow, brilliant. Yeah, pickle chips. Is there? Should they email me if they have any questions for you, Clem? I feel like I should just take this show over. All right, here it's yours. How does it feel to now own this show? Clem's Daily Podcast. How does it feel? I'll admit I've completely run out of things to say. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Clem. Well, you did a great job, and I'd really like to get out of this trailer and quit offering me meth. There's some in your drink. Have a good night. Ah! Thank you, Clem, you crazy guy. All right. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley. Next show, Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floor Man, John Deere the Engineer. Enjoy your wonderful day, whatever you're doing. If you're enjoying a, the, you know, streaking with Katy Perry or going shopping with Kelly, Kelly McConaughey, Miss <laughs> Kelly Ann Conway. Was she was the one on the View, right? That got into it with Joe Joey Joe Bihar Baraha or Whoopi Goldberg or one of them, and Elizabeth Hasselbeck used to be on that show. But what the heck is she doing now? Because she's not on Fox. She got tired of that guy making passes at her, the ill dude, uh, Robert Irons, Robert. I can't remember anybody's name now. You can't just throw all this stuff on me expect me to remember names. Dang it. Especially after all the 
drugs that got put into my system thanks to Clem. But next show uh, is going to be great, and so enjoy whatever you do today. Yeah. Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't even give my tip. Uh, my tip, the mic tip, and my ripping someone a new one was for you, Kellyanne Conway. You. Uh, stop criticizing Mitt Romney. And go shopping with Madame Rutabaga. Racist. <laughs>